All right, we've got Houston G-Force on P-Bars and the Pennsylvania Flyers on high bar. And Houston G-Force is in the lead by two points right now. Um, this is Matt on parallel bars. This is a good, pretty good event for him. Uh, let's see if he can help the G-Force stay in the lead. You can see the top right screen there, home of Olympian Sean Townsend. And it's the Townsend Cup. He's just getting love all over the place. He's getting a lot of these tenthers built up if you're watching the blue and then the total accumulation down in the white. Oh, very nice Healy. Yeah, this is, this on, is a pretty good routine so far. Let's see if he can hold on to the dismount. Oh, right, man, it's okay. the same thing he did in Michigan. He just, you know, his timing was off and he didn't do the complete dismount. All right. Let's go, buddy. Uh, Pennsylvania Flyers really need to look more prepared on this event than they did last time. This is really where I think they might have the downfall. And I don't know, maybe Cameron did start training high bar again. We'll, we'll see. This is not a strong event for Cameron. Like I said before, James Bruchero, um, okay, ooh, James Bruchero, he uh, was supposed to compete, but he just had a random injury just right before the competition, and he wasn't. So once again, Cameron had to come through on high bar, and um, Push. you know, props to Cameron. I have to give him props yeah, for just he's, stepping he's, up. Come on, come on. And he's hitting those handstands, which is really nice to see. That was something that we were having trouble with with the 360s and the G-Force the very first meet. I mean, if you look at the bottom of the screen, it's not a, it's not a lot of a bonus, but I mean, props to him. He, he made did it through. It. Good job. Nice and clean. Let's go, RJ. This is RJ on parallel bars. This is a good event for RJ. Uh, really, all events are good for RJ. He is a really strong athlete. He is. And with the routine that we just saw on high bar, I mean, you're going to see that this will be a great way for the G-Force to nice. pull away from the Pennsylvania Flyers just from their start value alone. Oh, man. Mm. And the judges can't count those tents that he was trying to accumulate. I don't know where they are right now, but like I said, going into this event, the G-Force was two points ahead of the Flyers. That fall is one point. So, in theory, they can only be up by one point right now. And Coach Sean Towns, you can see him talking about um, repeating that skill so he makes sure he gets those elements and rooting on and making sure he's trying to stay mentally calm and prepared to make this skill. So far he has eight tenths, not even a point yet in bonus. And he does not... Oh, oh man, two again. points. And, you know, if they're behind after this rotation, that could have been it right there. That could be the two points. Now, I will say that um, finish strong, finish if they strong. have another guy going up on parallel bars, Sun Tai Lee is pretty good on this event, and they can drop this score and not even count it. So, you know, hopefully that's what they do. Hopefully they do have another guy in the lineup ready to go, and um, they can drop this score so they can remain in the lead. Come on. All right, RJ. Mm. All right. Small hop on the landing, but again, these dismounts, definitely you can tell that all these teams have been going home and working on these dismounts. All right, now the Flyers are really counting on this score. This is the event that he's been preparing for. Let's see how he does. This is Ari Barrera. Come on. Oh, man, and that's something the Flyers don't need. The Flyers were already down, and they they need every point they can get. I mean, they, they better hope one of two things. One, that Ari hits the rest of this routine very clean, or two, that the G-Force doesn't have another guy up on parallel bars ready to go. And I don't remember Ari trying that skill at their last competition. I think he was trying to add in that Ganger to try and add some more points, and, and it just didn't work out for him. Mm, well, that's unfortunate. I mean, sometimes you have to take risks if you're behind and you want to catch up. And sometimes those risks don't play in your favor. Now, he did that, so that still fulfills his release requirement. But uh, 
That's a shame. Yep. Come on, Ari. Come on, East Coast boys. See how he does on this dismount. Find it. Find it. All right, a small step. Not quite the stuck landing we were hoping for. It's all right. Good job. All right, so do the Houston G Force have that third person on P bars? And they do. And they do. Ah, uh, and of course it's the Hoss. Well, sorry, Flyers. I, I was trying to pull for you there, but um, maybe I shouldn't have picked him up from the airport. I'm kidding. I'm glad I did. Almost seemed like he didn't want to be picked up from the it's airport. It's all a fair game. Nice. Ooh, a beautiful bell. Giant to double backflip. Yeah, come on now. Uh, he's doing pretty good so far. And you can see he does not wear the padding on his arms. Not all the athletes do. Come on now. Well, nice. some of them just enjoy the damage, I guess. This is 30 inch biceps, all that padding he already has. Yeah. Nice. And that was the routine the G Force was looking for. <laughs> RJ's, RJ's definitely happy. happy. <laughs> Let's see where they're standing. One rotation to go, and Pennsylvania Flyers are down five.